Hi, and welcome to the Oil & Gas Overview Series, brought to you by Cisco Systems. I'm Roland Plett, your host, and I invite you to look into a little bit more about what Cisco has to offer oil and gas at cisco.com slash go slash oil and gas. Enjoy. The next 10 years could be the most disruptive opportunity the oil and gas industry has ever seen. This opportunity is available to those who are most adaptable. Those who have a clear understanding of their operational realities, they will have the strongest foundation to build on. Today's digital strategies provide the visibility of that strong foundation. They offer a clear and current view of operational realities with increased agility to make timely adjustments. As digital capabilities grow, the ability to pivot business strategies also increases. Today's digital strategies largely focus on making field conditions more visible to dashboards and analytics platforms. This increased visibility makes it possible to strengthen the security of assets, improve predictive maintenance algorithms, identify new business trends, and streamline the effort of mobile workers. Although these strategies are not yet pervasive, their adoption has accelerated during COVID-19 and we expect the energy transition that's coming to accelerate that even more. Early adopters are now exploring ways to extend their digital capabilities into teleremote operation and ultimately into autonomous operation. To move in this direction, the preferred digital strategy becomes more dependent on video technologies and autonomous machines like robots and drones. These technologies are mature enough to show promise, but the processes and infrastructure needed to normalize their use are in the very early stages of adoption. Let's take a closer look at how this plays out in four current digitization use cases. These are starting to gain momentum and require a, uh, a further look. The first one is foundational, it's called asset visibility. The top industrial sensor companies have thousands of sensors on the market. It's hard to imagine a measurement point that doesn't have a corresponding sensor. With Cisco's ability to move data from these sensors to anywhere securely, it's been easier than ever to gain visibility to current asset conditions. Gaining this visibility opens opportunities to optimize production with better information. It reduces maintenance costs by predicting failures, and it identifies security risks before incidents even occur. The second use case is control system security, and this one builds on the first by providing visibility. When the TSA published security directives to the pipeline industry in 2021, most oil and gas companies were well on their way to adopting a security framework for their operations infrastructure, especially their control systems infrastructure. Unfortunately, operators tell us that having a framework does not mean they have a current view of their compliance with that framework. Many operators are currently searching for tools that will help them establish a real-time inventory with current security compliance metrics. These tools do exist and their capabilities are expanding as adoption begins to grow. The third use case is the secure mobile worker. Field personnel are both sources of data for safety monitoring and they're benefactors of data through online applications. First, a mobile worker's condition and environment is central to any safety program. Clip-on sensors are now available for health monitoring, gas detection, and noise profiles, as well as many other things. These identify the safety program metrics that you're most concerned about. Second, equipping mobile workers with access to online processes, reporting, and operating procedures provides the business with more accurate and current data for decision-making and reporting. The last use case is a little bit more forward-looking. Once a digital strategy becomes pervasive, the increased visibility and control allows tasks to be automated or moved to remote operation centers. Physical tasks and visual work that need to be done on site can be delegated to industrial robots or drones, and the need for on-site personnel becomes an exception. When this level of digitization is achieved, the number of safety incidents can truly reach the coveted zero. 
and operations becomes more efficient and agile. Before we wrap up, I want to share with you an overview of how this digital solution works. All this new visibility that's, that you heard about in these use cases is made possible by getting data from hard to reach locations in the field and making them available to critical decision makers anywhere. All digital systems quantify information at the source and then communicate that information to decision makers or systems for analysis. The following four steps from the source through to that data consumer describe the system in more detail. The first step is at the source of the data. Thousands of industrial sensors are available to digitize anything your operation finds valuable. These sensors detect vibration, temperature, flow, and many other measurements without disrupting operations and without disrupting existing control systems. The second step is standardizing and securing. The data format coming from sensors varies greatly and requires standardization. Doing the standardization on the Cisco network device close to the source allows for efficient streaming of data to all authorized data requests. The third step is delivering the data. With the availability of multiple mature wireless technologies and with increasing communication capacity to very remote locations, the options for connectivity can be overwhelming. This is where Cisco and its partner community delivers significant value to guide you into the best suited communication technologies available today. The last step, leveraging the data for business value. This is possibly the most fun one. There are so many ways to leverage this new data streams. Operators may have dashboards of KPIs and big data analytics en engines may be accessing these data streams for all kinds of outcomes. Each of these upstream applications have their own data format requirements and data frequency needs. Designing effective dashboards and leveraging data for big data analytics, yeah, that can become complex. So the assistance of a qualified industry partner is really valuable. In summary, the opportunity in today's oil and gas industry compels operators to become more agile and efficient. This can be achieved through digital strategies. Today's strategies increase visibility to current operational realities, and tomorrow's strategies will enable greater automation and remote control so that sites will become even safer, more productive, and adaptable through to future changes in the industry. Find out more about how Cisco helps oil and gas operators with their digital strategies at cisco.com slash go slash oil and gas.